In this tech tip, we're going to take a look at Variable Studios in an option that can have a big impact on your design workflows. We're going to start by creating a new Variable Studio in a variable called Wheel Studs. Notice at the bottom, we're going to leave the checkbox Insert into All Part Studios and Assemblies enabled. This is going to be important as we're going to see how this will be impacted by working with Branch and Merge. So to work with Branch and Merge, we'll first create a version and then branch our design to start making some changes. We'll start by going into one of the parts studios called Axle Parts, and we'll see that the variable was automatically imported into this part studio, honoring the checkbox we looked at before. Like using any other variable, we can incorporate this into our designs by simply pressing the pound sign and then choosing the variable name. We're using this variable to drive the number of wheel studs in our design. Let's go ahead and use this variable in another part studio. So two part studios are going to be impacted by any changes made to this variable. In this case, we're going to modify two circular patterns. We'll then go back to the variable studio and change the value of that variable to five in this case. And when we go to the top level assembly, we can see that that change is reflected properly. However, when we go to merge our branch into our main branch, we can see that every single part studio in assembly has been impacted by changing the number of instances. This is because of that checkbox. We chose to import variables into all part studios in assemblies. So let's go ahead and uncheck this and let's take a look at using Variable Studios without this option checked. Now, when we go into the Axle Parts Part Studio, we'll have to take an additional step, choosing to insert any variables we want from any Variable Studios in our design. It's simply one more step, but after that, the process is the same. We can use the variables throughout our design. So we'll make the same changes we did before. Again, we'll go to the other parts studio and we'll make it the changes also in the wheel and tire parts studio. Again, choosing to insert those variables that we're interested in using. As those changes are made, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to the variable studio just like we did before, and we're going to make the same change. We're going to change the number of wheel studs from six to five. And again, when we go to the trailer assembly, we'll see that those number of wheel studs have in fact been updated properly. This time, however, when we choose to merge into the current workspace, we can see that only a select number of part studios and assemblies have been impacted by this change. That's because that variable had not been imported into every single part studio and assembly in our design. 